The first modern surgeons were battlefield doctors in the Napoleonic Wars, who were primarily concerned with amputation. By the beginning of the 19th century, surgeons had obtained high status, yet operating on the heart and blood vessels would remain forbidden territory for another 100 years. Even then, clamping, cutting, and sewing met with little success and was mostly limited to last-ditch efforts to save a patient. Modern vascular surgery and percutaneous intervention owes a tremendous debt to Werner Forsman, who against the advice of colleagues used the new X-ray technology to successfully guide a catheter into his own heart. Fired for his efforts, he eventually won a Nobel Prize for ushering in a new era in surgery. To Michael DeBakey, who in the 1950s began replacing aortic arteries with synthetic grafts sewn on his wife's sewing machine. And Dr. DeBakey's colleague of 38 years, Dr. Stanley Crawford, for his innovative surgical techniques in the treatment of complex aortic diseases, particularly thoracoabdominal aneurysm and aortic dissection. To Charles' daughter, who believed blocked arteries could be opened without invasive surgery, using catheters. The man whom critics dubbed Crazy Charlie. To Thomas Fogarty, who joined his colleague Charles' daughter to develop balloon angioplasty. To D. Eugene Strandness, Jr., father of the vascular laboratory and the subsequent revolution in non-invasive vascular diagnosis, as well as Julius Jacobson, the father of vascular microsurgery and to the countless innovators and pioneers who have helped create perhaps the most dynamic field in modern medicine.